Since the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic, Chinese university overseas international students, for the sake of student safety and the need of epidemic prevention, would have conducted online courses. When will international students study online for a long time return to China? What will the policy and process of returning to China be like? After watching this video, you may have clearer answers to these questions. Since the announcement on the temporary suspension of entry by foreign nations holding valid Chinese visas or residence permits from March 2020, China's visa policy has been changing from time to time, along with the changes of the global pandemic situation. Well, the visa policy for most international students has never been mentioned, except for South Korean students. The issue of overseas students returning to China has been mentioned at least five times in the regular press conferences hosted by the Chinese Ministry of Foreign Affairs since last year. But every time, we just get the same answer, irritating that the Chinese government always attaches high importance to the issue of foreign students coming back to China for their studies. And on the basis of ensuring safety amid COVID-19, they will consider their return in a coordinated manner. No specific notice and measures related to their entry has been officially released till now. But only according to informed sources, China's Ministry of Education has begun to count how many of them are facing insurmountable difficulties in learning and graduation. It has to be admitted that China is one of the countries that have made the most efforts and taken the most stringent preventive measures in combating the pandemic. Before the vaccination rate of Chinese people reaches 80%, as expected by the end of 2021, they will not open the border easily, as the COVID-19 continues to be uncontrollable in most parts of the world. Therefore, we don't think the returning of international students will happen in 2021. But for further predictions, the current policy and the requirement of other personnel entering China are worthy of our reference. At present, for most ordinary people in some countries, the requirements for entering China are becoming more and more strict, mainly reflected in the increasingly complex process of obtaining the COVID-19 Prevention Green Health Code or Green Code of Health Declaration Certificate required for flying to China. According to the notices released by Chinese embassies in many countries, the requirement to apply for such code has involved from only providing the negative certificate of nucleic acid and IgM antibody test within 48 hours before boarding, to providing many extra documents, including one more negative report of nucleic acid, self-isolation commitment, personal statement, letter of commitment on COVID-19 vaccination, seven-day personal health monitoring form, etc. More annoyingly, even if they meet all the above application conditions, there is no guarantee that they will get a code for sure. In addition, except for special personnel from few countries under effective control such as Singapore and South Korea, other overseas personnel still need to be isolated after entering China, regardless of whether they have been vaccinated or not. As per different requirements of each province in China, the isolation duration ranges from 14 days to over a month, accompanied by times of nuclear acid tests. The quarantine mode is a combination of centralized quarantine, home quarantine, and health detection. And the cost of centralized quarantine depends on the entry city and the level of the arranged hotel. To sum up, we judge that when China opens the border to the first batch of international students, those whose health conditions meet the requirements and can bear the relevant expenses need to apply to the school for inbound approval documents first and then apply for a visa from the embassy. After getting visa, students need to conduct strict self-isolation and upload self-health monitoring information to universities every day. 
the self-isolation measures should include strengthening personal protection, stopping going out unnecessarily for social activities, or going to public places such as shopping malls, taking body temperature every morning and evening, etc. What's more, international students may need to provide the result of double PCR tests and IgM tests within a specific time. Letter of commitment on vaccination, photo, personal statement, self-isolation commitment, daily health monitoring result, flight information, and even other documents before they can apply for a green health code. Upon arrival in China, they are likely to be required to be quarantined for a specific period in a city of entry. And a further quarantined or health monitored after arriving in a city where the school is located. There may be no uniform standard for relevant quarantine costs. Moreover, it's worth noting that although vaccination does not help shorten or cancel the isolation time of vaccine recipients in the short term, as more reliable scientific data obtained by experts and advocated by WHO. The vaccination of different vaccines may have certain impacts on the Chinese entry policy in the future. China hasn't achieved a mutual vaccine recognition with any country so far, but a small-scale recognition between China and a few nations may be started from this year. However, it doesn't mean that China will recognize the vaccine passport on a larger scale lately. Since the effectiveness of various vaccines in preventing the spread of the virus remains to be seen. Besides, the pandemic situation of various countries may also lead to distinction of the quarantine policies of their students returning to China. For example, for countries under effective prevention and control, the quarantine time of their students may be shortened. It's just a guess, though. As for the time for the first batch of students to return to China, we estimate that it may be around July 2022, so that students who meet the requirements for resuming classes can participate in offline courses in the new academic year. If the prediction comes true, the first batch will receive relevant notice at least two months ahead of time. However, if, on the contrary, The global pandemic becomes extreme, uncontrollable. The time to return will probably continue to be postponed. What type of students will be the first batch to return to China? With the higher frequency voice, we judge that the Chinese government will adopt the strategy of recalling students by batches, majors, grades, etc., and give priority to students with the strongest demand for offline classes, such as medical students. If your major belongs to language, liberal arts, business, education, economics, and other majors with less strong demand, you'd better be mentally prepared for further online classes. Finally, there is a tool to share with you. If you want to know the specific quarantine policies of each city in China, you can refer to this website. The epidemic control measures of provinces and cities in China for travelers, issued by CITS American Express Global Business Travel. It not only collects useful information, including the latest visa policy, the important notice of Chinese embassies, the isolation measures for inbound personnel, but also supports bilingual reading in both Chinese and English. No matter which country you are in, I wish you success in COVID-19 prevention and higher education. Let's believe in science and the future.